Hey guys, Super Guys on Final Wars here, and today I'm going to be doing my thoughts and opinions on Godzilla Monster Apocalypse. For those who don't know, Godzilla Monster Apocalypse is the novel novelization of Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. I feel like we could have gotten this before we got Planet of the Monsters, because let me explain. Remember at the beginning of the movie where Horror said that had that monsters start to appear one after the other. Well, basically the novelization becomes Godzilla's Final Wars, basically. Because there's not just one monster coming after the other. It's a whole bunch of monsters coming left and right. Je like, Jesus Christ, there's like a bunch of monsters. There's even all the classic Toho monsters. Well, all of them. Almost all of them. I do you haven't made an appearance yet. Like Space Godzilla, for example, or Destroya. Godzilla, well, Monster Apocalypse probably did a lot better than his movie counterpart did. I honestly feel like if this was ever going to become a rather a movie or a TV or an anime TV show, this Godzilla Monster Apocalypse should definitely be it. Because literally, there's a bunch of monsters coming out left and right, and not just that. The, almost a few things that resemble the movie, because crime is against the humans. It's a, a very difficult well, decision have to be made. This is freaking cool. Not only that, it's interesting. Not to mention, the part when Godzilla shows up, that's when humanity knows that they're screwed. Because when Godzilla shows up, he doesn't really care who's on his side or not. Because freaking when Godzilla shows up, he flat out killed freaking Angiers 4, Baran 2, and Baragon 2. He flat out did not care about them. He just flat out killed them. This Godzilla doesn't care if you're on his side or not. He will kill you. And not to mention, this is Godzilla Earth at 50 meters before he becomes the unstoppable force of nature that we all know. Godzilla's not just killing monsters, he's destroying everything. It's not just Japan. That is his target now. He's just targeting everything. He's not going to stop until humanity is gone. Rather, they're gone from this planet or gone from existence. Like, this flat out came. Godzilla Final Wars, and it's just so awesome. The novelized. The novel, everything about Monster Apocalypse is so much better than the movies. Because the movies are just freaking awesome. And, I, and I'm just wondering, how do we get to Monster Planet, sitting on the edge of battle, and Planet Eater? And it all began from this, Godzilla Monster Apocalypse. Like, just how did that happen? I felt like that we, if we've gotten this before Monster Planet, I'm pretty sure fans will have been like, oh my god, this is freaking awesome. Who cares about what Godzilla looks like? As long as they get endless monster attacks, monster actions, then I'm pretty sure they don't really care. They even add references of freaking other Godzilla movies. Like for example, when Godzilla fights Gigan, and apparently, yeah, Gigan is a good guy in this novelization. But Gigan is apparently a good guy in this. 
alternate universe. Gigan is trying to save humanity from Godzilla, mainly because he was a mind controlling him, but still. Gigan is just trying to save humanity. And in the end, he gets his butt kicked not once, but five times, I think, by Godzilla. And when Godzilla finally had enough of him, he just blew him up. And to Gigan's death, it's very sad for the human character because he actually ended up taking him back where he belongs and burying him there. The fights are just entertaining. Like, it's just so entertaining. Like, you could just imagine how the fight would have gone out, but, but you can only imagine... Oh man, I would have been cool to see that in the movie, but in the end, we didn't get that from the movie. Matter of fact, this is just a novel, not really a part of the movie. Well, it kind of is, but not really. Because if this was made as a movie, then I'm pretty sure fans would just ignore the other two movies and accept these movies. Godzilla Monster Apocalypse and Godzilla Project Mechagodzilla. They would have accepted these two other movies along with the first anime Godzilla movie, Godzilla Monster Planet, more than the other four than the other the two movies. Well in a way, Earth Godzilla would have had a really good start if these were movies. This would make you love uh, Godzilla Monster Planet a little bit more if Monster Apocalypse and Project Mecha Godzilla were made as movies. Or even better, as an anime TV series. Think about it. It'll be something more like Attack on Titan. We'll get like episodes every Saturday. If we ever gotten this as a freaking TV anime show, we were probably gotten every episode on every freaking Saturday or Sunday. Because like I said before, a lot of iconic monsters return. Heck, even Zilla makes a comeback. That's right, Zilla makes a comeback. It's not just Rodan, Aegirius, Mothra, Mechagodzilla, and all those other iconic monsters. But Zilla, surprisingly, was in the novel. And they even declared him as a subspecies of Godzilla. Which that, I really like. Godzilla Monster Apocalypse and Project Mecha Godzilla are really good. They tell much more of a better story than what the, what the movie did. If you guys don't believe me, you should check it out. Because these the novels are freaking really good. Not only that, they're just freaking flat out beautiful. They tell a really good story and show you the force of nature of Godzilla Earth, making him tr feel like a true god, like you can't stop him. Like even with the help of two alien races, the freaking humans cannot stop Godzilla. And this is Godzilla Earth we're talking about, the guy who has electromagnetic shield, the guy who barely survived in both Godzilla's Zenonian Battle and Planet Eater? Yeah, that, this Godzilla is freaking flat out powerful. I felt like the directors were taking a, a page out of Godzilla Final War. Or it says, literally this part of the novel, this flat out turned 
is the Godzilla Final War. He's just battling different monsters left and right, and at the same time destroying humanity. This is possibly the best novel I have freaking ever, ever heard of. Seriously, why wasn't this why didn't this become a movie? That would have been way awesome to, that if this became a movie. For those who don't believe me about everything going down in this freaking novel, just look at that little what, monster apocalypse and just watch a video. You'll see what I'm talking about. And it's just kind of sad, to be honest, the fact that we got the movie, and, and yet, the sad part is that the other two films were not as successful as the first Planet of the Monsters movie. If Monster or Apocalypse and Project Mechagodzilla, if they were a thing, Hear me out. If they were a thing, they would have probably made up uh, for the other two movies. Most fans are saying that Planet of the Monsters did okay, and that some are saying that it could have done way, way, way better. But if, but if freaking Monster Apocalypse and Project Project Mechagodzilla became a thing, became an actual movie. It would have made up for those two movies. It would have made up. It would have just been like, oh yeah, you may not like these, those two movies, but I'm pretty sure you'll like these ones, and then once we're in fancy, you know, they'll probably be like, oh heck yeah, this is freaking way better than the other two movies. And not only that, how they describe Mothra being the only kaiju that could practically make God go Earth hurt himself. I literally looked up on the internet, and it said that Godzilla's greatest weakness is his own atomic breath. And I see what it was talked about, because literally Godzilla Earth was on the ground, recovering from his own blast, from his own atomic breath. You know, because Mothra reflected the atomic breath. Seriously, Mothra has more of a bigger role here in the mo more than a planet eater. So overall, Godzilla Project Monster or Apocalypse and Project Mecha Godzilla did a lot better than the freaking movie did. If if these two movies were a thing, I would have loved the I would have loved the movies way better. I would have loved these two movies along with Planet of the Monsters, way better than Cinematic Battle and Planet Eater. Honestly, I felt like this these two movies would have made the anime Gospel Trilogy slightly good. Because now it's just kind of slightly bad. Anyways, this guys, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys liked this video. Tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think about Godzilla for Monster Apocalypse and Godzilla Project Mecha Godzilla? Do you guys think these would have been really better than the other two movies? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day and peace out.